Good morning. It's a bright and sunny morning today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this climbing rose. So if this is your first time in my channel, please push that subscription button and click the notification bell so that you will get notified for my new uploads. As you can see in my previous video, I have erected this arch here to become the entrance of this new garden that I am going to make here in this area. And very timely as it was during our civil partnership ceremony last July, our a very good friend of ours, Peter and David, gave us this climbing rose as their present. So, I'm gonna plant this here and hopefully this will climb in the arch and will make a beautiful arch roses here. So, Come and join me today as I'm gonna be planting this rose. First thing first, if you're planning to plant a climbing rose or any variety of roses, you have to choose an open, sunny position with free draining soil. Let's avoid planting the rose in an area where roses have already grown before. It is best that it will be planted in a fresh soil so that it will have all the nutrients it needed to grow. Or else, if you don't have that enough area to choose from, then you can just transfer a fresh soil in the site where you wanted your rose to be planted. Now, let's make a hole big enough not to disturb the root ball of the plant. Let's make sure that when we remove the plant from the pot, the root ball should be level on the surrounding soil. Yeah. Yep, so that's it. It's now okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to water the plant thoroughly before planting it. So I'll just get the water. So we're going to have to water the plants thoroughly before transferring it to the soil. So now it's ready to be removed from the pot. And then let's just make sure let's just make sure to loosen this a bit so that the plant will distribute its root to the surrounding soil to the new environment Roses love organic matter, so I'm gonna be mixing a compost into the soil.
and then we put some water again. Yes, that's it. So, it's the same procedure on the other side of the arch. So that's it, I'm finished planting all those two new roses in this beautiful arch of the garden. So hopefully it will um, grow um, healthy and that it will bear a lot of flowers next year. So I'm gonna just do some tidying up and then remove all the tools and then I will put some knittings later on, on the surrounding the uh, roses. So, that will be the end of it. So we're going to the shed now to get some knittings for the plants. So it's very important when you're planting a, you know, a very sensitive plant like that, you should surround it with knittings as safeguard to protect it from number one, rabbits, squirrels, and any other animals in the garden that eats plants so so we're in the shed now where is it just very small are you sure that's already enough Okay. So we've got a chicken wire already from the shed. So we're going back to the arch and then put this in place and hopefully it will protect the the, the, the rose from those rabbits. Rabbits squirrels and any other animals in the garden. 